What's up, guys? This is Fishhead here, Can and I'm playing with uh, Chaos Reaper. And today we want to talk we about tryhards. Tryharding, some people call it. So, to start off, what exactly is a tryhard, Ryan? When I think of a tryhard, I think of someone laying down prone in the back of his barn with, like, the newbiest gun you can think of, like, a rapid fire or such. Now, I, I, I use that gun sometimes. So am I try hard? Uh, yeah, you could be. Now, I, I disagree with you because I, you can't be a try hard, I don't think, in, in Black Ops. For one, you can't call someone a try hard because of the gun they're using, because the guns are available to everyone. So I just don't think you can be a try hard in this game. Maybe not in this game, but we've all had our shares in this game of times we just wanted to kill someone. And yeah, and personally, I think it's the gun that does most of that. I think it's more the perks. Now, Modern Warfare 2, hell yes, um, you can be a tryhard in that game. Security. Now, the main reason why people would use like the stupid perks like Commando, like, I hate Commando, I cannot stand Commando. That perk was just ridiculous. I think. What do you think? I don't think it was that bad. I mean, when you got it to pro, it was a nice benefit. I didn't mind it that Yeah, the, the, the pro I had no problem with, but when people had, like, commando on assault rifles, I would just get a little bit mad. The only, the only time it's kinda... I would get mad with commando is when you saw someone running around with, like, an ASP or Enemy some shit like that. With, like, tactical knife while it's not ASP. Yeah. <laughs> That's in this game. Yeah. Yeah, that, that gets annoying. Um, I would say... I just burned myself. I'll come... I would say it's all about the perks, not the weapons. And the whole thing about the perks is they they balance it out so much in Black Ops in this game that is um, it is amazing how you just can't, there's no perk that can help you be amazing. Well, I think what happened because there's no juggernaut. The Call of Duty society said, you know, we don't like these things about your game. We don't like juggernaut, and we don't like stopping power. It mainly started with Juggernaut, when everyone was, you know, World at War, drop shotting with MP40, MP40. Yeah. yeah. And then, when they took that out from Modern Warfare 2, everyone was complaining about stopping power. Like, I just died with two bullets on core. I mean, what's up with that? And I didn't have that many problems with stopping power, because I used them. Um, I used stopping power myself in Modern Warfare 2. But I like not having it in this game, because... That, um, that was, I think, the first perk, the red perk in Modern Warfare 2, and there were so many other perks that could go in that category, but I would never use them because of stopping power, because everyone had stopping power, so I felt the need to have that. So I could never use those extra perks that were fun to use in this game. I use all the perks that I can, except for probably uh, Last Chance or Second Chance, whatever it's called, because there's no stopping power. I would have to have stopping power on to play to, to play with everyone else because everyone else would use it except for the ghosting people who would use like no. um, our spy in the air. Uh, cold blooded. You know, I'm not gonna say you're wrong, but I have to say stopping power was probably not that great without Juggernaut because simply put, I loved using other perks, but I was forced to use stopping power because of other people. Who didn't yeah, yeah, yeah me too. They used stopping power. Now the whole reason why I think people use those bad perks was, I mean, the whole reason. Oh, I'll, I'll even go back even further. Why are we playing this game right now so that we can have fun and so does everyone else? And how do you have fun by killing in people. this game? Yeah, by getting kills. So to get kills, you have to you have to have a certain aesthetic uh, to be able to do that. You need to you need to have let's just say you have a circle of all these skills. You, that circle has to be that has to be full for you to get kills. And when you get kills, you're happy. So that's why you're happy. That's why you're playing this game. So the perk would help you in that circle. So the bad perks like Juggernaut and I wouldn't say stopping power, but I think uh, second chance or last chance, whatever it's called. I think that perk would be a perk that would, can go in that category of perks that help you complete that circle. 
for me, I don't. I didn't use Juggernaut at all because I I didn't need it because I could survive because I had that part of my circle, part of my skill circle. Enemy, enemy, I don't know about coming. you. Did you ever use it? Of, of course I used it. I mean, it was kind of like that class that you always have when you like faced another team that was using nothing but that. And I don't mm -hmm. think any of us can say that we never used Juggernaut or something. I mean, I don't. I didn't use it that much. I don't think I used it. Um. Yeah, I, the only time I think I would have used it at all, if I, I can't remember any time I did, but if I had a class just ready so that if I needed to ever use it, I would. It's kind of like Danger Close Noob Tube. I mean, it, yeah, and fireworks I mean, back in World I, at War, you know, all you would ever see in World at War I never, I never used, I never used fireworks, but in Modern Warfare 2, I would have this class specifically called i called it the noob class it had noob tubes and it had a thumper on it and it had danger close pro so that would just be if i was just really pissed off and i just needed to blow some steam and get some easy kills yeah but when you call someone using a uh, noob tube a tryhard or Bravo, what would you call uh them? not really because what? i use the noob tubes when i when i got really mad well, i don't think you, you trying, can say you can be a tryhard because yeah, of my gun were you trying as hard as you could that noob tube. You didn't just, you know, put on noob tubes and say, I'm gonna shoot this up in the air. You used it when you got No, I tried, and you tried but to kill trying, them. trying your regular, like, right now, I'm playing, and I'm not really trying that hard. I mean, uh, I think, I think, it, I mean, I, my opinion is you can't be a tryhard in this, because it's all about the perks, and Treyarch did a good job of making sure that there were no perks to complete your skill circle. Now, another thing is that Let's just get off that whole subject. Another th reason, another thing I wanted to talk about was playtime. I think I had Modern Warfare 2. I pre-ordered it. I got it, I think, a week after it came out because I did it from Walmart, which is dumb. But I had, I think, a total of 24, 25 days played over a span of six months. And then I stopped because I was so pissed. Now, in this game, I think I only have four or five. No, not even. Maybe even three or four days played. And I think we've had it for... Four months, maybe? And I think getting mad in that game drove me to, to play more, to prove to them that I'm better than them and that, that I can kill campers because so many people would camp. Now, that's that's why I had more playtime, and I got to 8th prestige in that one without boosting or doing any of that stupid crap. Um, but how many like hours do you know that you, that you had? Um, Modern Warfare wasn't a big game for me. It was For me, it was more that war, actually. And in that game, yeah, I like that a lot too. Yeah, but you would, you would seriously get pissed off at that game. Like you would just start yelling at your TV for no apparent reason, just because you know people would be doing shit that drop shotting, juggernaut. It just pissed you off. I find myself um, not in Modern Warfare 2. I found myself streaming an, an intense amount. Just because of the fact that, like, when someone had commando on, and they'd be, like, sitting in a corner with, like, I think, maybe, like, a tactical knife, and they just, like, hit that button, and they just flew across the map and just, like, stab you. I would get mad at that, and I would just yell and scream. Enemy care package incoming. And it, it's kind of funny, because while we're talking about this, I'm doing horrible, I'm not gonna lie. You know, and I've... We, I was actually running around and I saw this guy. He had a, I have hacker on. I, he had a radar jammer and, uh, um, uh, radar. One of those radar things. I forgot what they're called. And um, Jammers, oh, motion or, sensor, uh, motion sensor. He had yeah, one of those yeah, yeah, along I got with those. a uh, jammer. There were two guys camping together. And he was just oh, yeah, sitting at the top I, of the I, stairs I waiting right. for someone to get onto his thing. Enemy and he just, you know, camped the living hell out of me. And yeah, I don't, I don't find as many campers in this game as I did in uh, the other one. And I really did not get that pissed off at them. I mean, mm -hmm. I was fine that game, and I did horrible. This game is just about over. I'm Fishhead, and I was playing here with Cast Reaper. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.